One on one is a project that I started when I was working at a, a university uh, that had a lot of undergraduate students in working as consultants in a writing center. And I realized that they really needed a, a resource to help them understand second language writers better. Um, but I also began thinking about sort of their situation and realizing that their situation was comparable to that of a lot of other teachers in that there's a whole lot of writing instruction that happens kind of in impromptu situations. It may be a formal writing conference. It might be a student coming up to you at the end of class and saying, I don't quite understand this comment on this paper. It may be a student coming during office hours and saying, what does this assignment mean? It, it, I don't get it. And sometimes I think that these situations often lead to a whole lot of learning and a whole lot of student growth. And so what I began thinking, though, is what does the person that's in the teacher role, whether they're an undergraduate writing consultant, um, a freshman composition teacher, a high school English teacher, what do they need? What do they need to know? And because these are situations where you don't have a lesson plan, you don't have goals, and yet you're on the spot and you've got to teach. And what you need in that situation is a body of knowledge, a body of knowledge that allows you to analyze the situation, to prioritize uh, what is the, what's the real need here. There may be a hundred different things that you could address, but what's got the best chance of sinking in and what's going to help the student the most. Um, and so it's, you've got to be able to analyze the situation, you've got to be able to prioritize needs, and then you've got to be able to implement. And I wanted to create a book that would help people for when they find themselves in that situation. And sort of steps you through from sort of a, a more bigger picture. You start by really saying that the first step in it analyzing a situation is understanding who you're working with and what are the perceptions that the student may have of you, what do you have, you know, what stereotypes do you have about the student, understanding the, the individuals involved. And from there you've got to understand what the task is. What is it that they're really being asked to do and do they understand it? Um, what's going to be an effective response for a reader? Are they thinking about the reader and how the reader is going to do it? Then you're going to need to move into, okay, what have they actually produced or are they going to produce? Have they thought about organization? Okay, what's an effective organization here? Then moving from the organization to, okay, is it flowing? Where does it stop flowing? Why is it? Is it a language issue? They don't have good transitions? Is it that they just haven't made it to flow? That they're not thinking about the knowledge involved? After that, you can't get away from it. You've got to also be prepared sometime to talk about grammar. People don't want to. People are scared of it. But we have to in cases, because that's what students need. But we need to be able to talk about it in a way they understand. And so the last part of the book deals with grammar and also punctuation, because writing, that's a big part of it. And so that's sort of the organization of the book. And again, it's designed for people that need an overview. They need an ability to analyze, decide what to do, and then do it. So that's who I produced it.